So a lot of people have been telling me to uh, take a look at the Sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8 lens. They say it's pretty good. I took a look at the specs and I decided uh, maybe we should check it out. All right, here we got the lens. If you haven't heard, Amazon has this new free two second delivery right to your door. Look at this beauty right there. So if you haven't noticed already, I'm not in the studio, so we can't actually do a studio test of this. We're gonna have to go right into a field test. So my initial impressions of this lens, it is super well built. This whole thing is like metal. These are super smooth and move, like listen to that. The whole thing is super premium. All these buttons, everything here is just built super, super solid. Take a look at that front element there. This is just a beautiful lens. I'm not sure why I didn't, I actually hadn't heard of this before all these people started commenting uh, to check this lens out and I am very glad that they did. So I guess this is it from the air show. Now let's go to the studio to get more of an in-depth review. And we're back in the studio now with the Sigma 18-35 f 1.8. I'm looking at some of the photos and there are definitely quite a few really stunning photos. You can take a look at the clarity and all the detail that you get. You got really vibrant colors, um, a lot of really, really nice images here. Now there are a couple things that I'm not super happy with, maybe it's just because it was my first time using it, but I did notice um, in most of the shots there is quite a bit of a vignette, um, which is a little black kind of outline. Uh, it's not it's not really bad and it can actually add to like a feeling, but you don't always want that and most of the Canon lenses will correct for that. You can correct that in Photoshop, but that takes quite a bit of time. So definitely when you're at like 1.8, which is most, most of these are taking at 1.8, uh, you're gonna get a little bit of vignetting. You can also see that it's not quite as sharp in the corners. That's common with most of these lenses. I also noticed that this is not nearly as fast at autofocusing as basically any of my other Canon lenses. It takes a little bit more time and you can definitely tell some of the photos are out of focus, which is not super good. And then finally, I wanted to take some video. So I shot a little bit of test footage at the air show here and it doesn't have image stabilization, which I knew beforehand it doesn't have that, um, which is not great for handheld video as you can see here. But overall, I think this is definitely a usable lens for video. Now, what I found is this lens actually does its best in a couple of situations, and if you can set yourself up to be in one of those situations, it'll perform its best. I'll probably do a follow-up review once I have more time with this lens, but as of what I've done, these are the situations that it does its best. So if your subject is within like 10 feet of you, you can actually get more of a blurry background because you're getting focused and stuff. So if you're doing a landscape, this is not super great for that. You can still definitely get usable photos, but if you really wanna use that low aperture, definitely try to get subjects closer to you and have a background farther away. Now at the air show, since it was so bright and it didn't have any filters, for the size of this lens. I was at the fastest shutter speed I could, the camera could possibly do, and the lowest ISO, and at some points, it actually couldn't do 1.8 because it would get overexposed. So that is also kind of a downside, is when you're shooting that wide open, you have to either have some kind of filter or be inside where it's not quite as bright, otherwise you're just gonna have to have a super fast shutter speed. So in the past couple of days, I've taken this lens to a couple of different activities, and I've definitely seen since the autofocus is not quite as like up to speed with what I'm used to, some of the photos are out of focus and I've really been trying to shoot in the lower like twos to 1.8 and since you have such a small field of focus, you, you can just get a lot of shots that are out 
of focus. And from what I've seen, a lot of the shots kind of just don't look super sharp. So I wouldn't really say this is that great of a sports lens since it's not fast. It's not really great for capturing any kind of fast action. This is probably more of a portrait lens when you have time to sit down and stage things so everything looks nice. Everything else is still great. It's still super well made, really well built lens. I think you'll definitely get a lot of use out of this, but in a future video, I'm probably gonna compare it to something like my Canon 17 to 40. This is an F4. So these two kind of have similar focal ranges, except this is 1.8 and this is four. Also like the uh, 18 to 135, this zooms a lot farther but I've seen quite a few similarities where maybe all you need is a super zoom like this. So we're gonna talk about why you might wanna choose this lens over a couple of the other Canon equivalents in a future video. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching this uh, kind of different video. Tell me if you like this style. I definitely like filming it. So thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to keep it pro.